Hello everyone, Mr. Sorkin here. Welcome to day three of E. No, it's four of E3 as we do a quick little recap, and it was Nintendo's Day to Shine. Now, for each of these, I am going to include, except for because the trailer was broken, from that, my contract, um, what I did for the um, games and about the reveals. So you will see a bit of stuff on there, but just note that is my footage, no one else's, for the watermark. But anyway, let's get started. Nintendo started things off fantastically with revealing the Dragon Quest Heroes for Smash, scheduled for June. Well, not June, but summer of this year. These characters look interesting. They're going to focus on several different forms of the hero, and we do offer a new stage. And after that, we got another announcement by Bowser. No, they had a nice little tie-in with Bowser being the new um, CEO with the cute little homage with Bowser actually talking with one of the representatives. We then got a look at Luigi's Mansion 3, which shows some co-op in the hotel. We also got introduced to Goo Luigi. <laughs> Play on words. We then got a Link's Awakening trailer, um, which focused on the new escape. It does look very beautiful, and we did get um, a reveal that you get to customize your own areas, your own dungeons, and you can play through them and share them online. Now the next one is Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I'd like you to take a look at the trailer before I go over and talk about it. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? Years ago, we fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's gotta be the worst in history. What should we do, Teach? Kill every last one of them! Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. So the fell star consumes even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! My teacher. Both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall you do? <sighs> How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. So they officially released this new Fire Emblem Three House trailer, which shows a bit of not much of the gameplay, actually more of the story context, which does look awesome. Based on what they said was softest, it looks like you can manipulate both space and time to kind of view the whole area and see what is going on, which looks pretty awesome if you ask me. It could be interesting to see how that works with the character's relationships, see if that leads to a different vision that you have. It'd be interesting to see what you can do in the past, because I don't know if it's going to focus mainly on the past or the future, but it seems like there's two different times they're going to focus on, and whether or not those are going to be two separate parts of the game has yet to be announced, but it does look awesome. You can see an Elgar as the queen fighting against the other guys. I remember Claw being the name of one of them, I don't remember the last guy who's in Fergus. Well, the game does look awesome, and I will definitely be trying to do it opening day. So after that, we got a really creepy Resident Evil trailer, which really does... Well, it is scary. <laughs> it's kind of in a haunted house where these two people are most likely going to get killed, but they don't. You then get a trailer for Revenge of Drag Dreaming, which just, just looks beautiful and relaxing. I could see myself just playing and just to relax for a nice couple of minutes. Um, after that, it was Pokemon, um, where they kind of revealed a new, um, oh, they revealed a new gym leader. Her name I thought was Nessie, but it's Nessa or Nessie, I don't remember it quite exactly. But they did reveal that you can take off on the new Pokemon and put into the Pokeball Plus and have it around you at all times if need be. Astral Chain also got a new trailer, which would focus mainly on the capture mechanics and a bit more on the combat, and it looked pretty awesome. And also we got a brand new trailer for uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which I will include the one from them. I, my capture card just didn't want to record that one for a reason, but we did get a new character, including Elsa Bloodborne, who I should mention because I had no idea who she was. We got Ghost Rider, 
Um, we also um, got some other characters. I don't remember on the top of my head. But we did get some reveals. We also got reveal of the expansion pass, which will be based off of Marvel Knights, um, X-Men, and um, Fantastic Four. So this also hasn't been officially confirmed, but this is my theories on who will be part of the season pass, because they haven't confirmed how many heroes there were or villains will be part of the pack. So my theory is Moon Knight for Marvel Knights, Cyclops for the X-Men pack, all the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four pack. Now, actually, let's move on to the news instead of speculation. So after that, we did get the Mario Sun get the 2020 Olympic Games trailer, which shows kind of an Ape thing. It does look beautiful. Hopefully, it stays the same. Nothing goes wrong, and it will be as good as the Winter Olympic game. Then get the Animal Crossing reveal trailer, which uh, yeah, I'm surprised how you, um, the game thing got this right about it being on a desert island and somehow you owe money to someone. I'm not going to question that. Anyway, there was another Smash character reveal, and we're actually going to play the trailer for you right now. That's right, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie are. Well, I can't even say it. Banjo can. I can't even say it. Are joining Smash all of them. And that's not all. There was a special teaser for Breath of the Wild 2. You guys just have to watch this one. That's fine. So I'm not expecting Nashville to be safe for Breath of the Wild 2 until much, much later. And finally, then things off daily, a Crash Team Racing announcement where they will be doing seasonal events with new courses and new characters, the main one being Spyro. Anyway, 20 minutes I saw this year, my favorite trailer personally was either the Smash reveals, but mainly, ultimately, the Spyro. So until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys then. Bye bye.